Welcome to Rocket ATM Tutorials. This video is going to demonstrate how to clean a card reader on a Hyosung ATM machine. Essentially, most of the card readers are, are all the same, but essentially the scenario could be something like a customer is inserting their card and their chip card is not being read or card not read is coming up on the screen and customers aren't able to do any transaction. It's kind of a telltale that your card reader might be a little dirty or potentially someone may have pushed some junk inside this little card slot while they were trying to insert their credit card and it kind of happens often customers take their cards out of their pockets and a little piece of tissue may or something get caught in there and they just sort of jam it in there when they remove their card out the junk is still stuck on the back side so if you open your top door Clearly you can see your card reader. And so what I'm gonna show you is just to give ourselves a little bit more playing area, I'm gonna actually unscrew this screw here on the side of the bezel. I've already loosened it a bit, but you'll notice that there's two screws. I'm only removing the ones closer to the back. Leave that one as is. And the same thing on this side here. Go ahead and remove that. And you'll notice that I'm able to tilt that and have a lot more playing area. Now, a physical inspection of the card reader, you might be able to see, and unfortunately you gotta tilt your head around and twist your body, but towards the back, you might be able to see some debris or something stuck you can try to pick at it, but if you need to get closer, which you might have to, then you're going to have to remove your card reader and just slide it out and then get it in your hand and look at it carefully. In order to do that, though, I do recommend that you shut the power switch off. The main switch, of course, is here. You want to shut that power switch off and then get into the card reader. To change the card reader, down below, these two screws hold it in place and you're gonna to have to remove this, and you're also gonna to have to remove this cable. Removing the cable is easy. It's just clamped into place. Oh, there's actually a twisty tie on this one. So you can see that this, this little twisty tie, you may have to cut that off, and the clamps will just go out, and the cable will pop right off. I'm actually gonna leave that in, but basically we're gonna get into the back here and remove these and then carry on. Okay, after removing the second screw, this card reader now becomes, you slide it out and of course the power's off. You can now get it in your hand flip it around and you can try to explore to see if you can see any sort of junk kind of caught up in the back which is where I suspect that potentially is the problem because again customers often sort of insert their credit card from the front and they, they jam up stuff and credit cards come with those little stickers on them to activate your credit card and sometimes people just leave them on but whatever the case may be you want to explore this in greater detail. Of course, if you want to get into it further, you're going to have to start removing these screws and get down into a deeper level. You can't really damage this stuff, but you do want to unclamp these cables. There's a cable here, there's a cable there. Just removing these cables will then completely free this and get it in your hand where you can work on it on a proper desk. And more often than not, though, you should be able to detect some some debris over here <clears throat> to get that all cleaned up and once it's done of course put it all back together again might be a good idea to potentially take a picture of it before you take it apart that might that might also be a, a good way to do things but essentially you're just inserting this thing back in again and there you go and just sort of kind of fits right in place and then you're going to tighten those screws again
the other one. All right, and you're gonna clamp your communication cable back on again. Of course, you don't wanna clamp it on the other way. Uh, you wanna make sure you clamp it the proper way so you know which, which cord is on the right, which cord is on the left. Again, taking a picture of it before you do so might be a good idea. But um, putting that back together again and turning the ATM on, that should solve your card reader issue.